Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Infineon Raceway for the Snickers Cup Series race number eight here in Southern California. We're preparing for 17 laps of exciting racing here today and really looking forward to an exciting finish. Well, if you didn't see our races before, you missed out. We had quite an exciting uh, few events so far this weekend. We ended up having the Truck Series race first, and that came all down to uh, pitch strategy and everything, and it was Adam Chambers going to victory lane for the first time in Season 2, I believe the second time in his Oreo Truck Series career. Then, yesterday, we had an exciting Mobile One Cup Series race where a guy who started in 41st position in this field went all the way through the pack in order to finish as the winner of the Mobile One Cup Series race, and that was Brandon Gonzalez. So this racetrack, let me tell you folks, it doesn't matter where you start. It all depends on whether you're around at the right time based on pit strategy to be able to take the checkers. And we're going to see the exact same thing we saw in the Truck Series race and the Mobile One Cup Series race here today. Still tire problems for the drivers. They will be making at least two, maybe even three pit stops during the course of the day. Let's get uh, the starting lineup given to you, and then we got a few top stories. Uh, we'll give you one of them as we're going through the starting lineup. Jake Berg is on the pole, and to the outside will be Matthew Rodriguez. Patrick Murphy will line up there in third alongside of T.O. Bain. Devin Wilson will line up beside of Diego Brace. Brace is making his first start here today in the Snickers Cup Series. Adam Chambers, he took the win in the Truck Series race here. He'll roll off there from the 7th position. James Bald will start off in 8th. Ninth will be Alex Lozano and Vincent Marsh will roll off in the 10th position. Then it's going to be Shane Green. He'll start beside of Christian Janes there in 12th. Uh, James McCall will start to the outside of Ziggy Bain. Anthony McCurry will start beside of Daniel Schwab. Evan Nugent will start beside our points leader, Timmy Pacioli. And then it's Jacob Lawler making his, I believe, well, no, he's, uh, he's had, I think, one or two starts, but he's uh, pretty much a go or go homer, was able to race his way into the field. He'll start alongside of Noel Stiller. Arnold Columbia starting beside of John Brace's teammate. Then it's John Dillon beside of Noah Cars. Here's the guy we got to talk about, uh, Tom Weekly has now uh, not only left his Mobile One Cup Series team, but he's also decided he's not going to race in the Snickers Cup Series. So Noah Cars will be running the car still part-time with a new rookie driver who will be making his debut next week, Ryan Acosta. All right, so then it's going to be Adrian Brace. He'll line up alongside of Kenny McCurry. John Worry will line up beside Jared Crocious. Chad Skinner, our winner last year. Makes his uh, makes the race here today in the 36 car. We'll see if maybe he can go two in a row. And Jonathan Morris will start to his outside. Trent Whitney will line up there alongside of Michael Harvey. Harvey, a go or go homer, finally making a race here in the Snickers Cup Series. Sean Galligan will line up alongside of Felix Harris. Then it's Angel D'Souza beside Robert Ban. Corey Williams will line up alongside of Dougie Shears piloting Pepsi today on his number 83 Toyota. Now we've got Nick Eggleston. He'll line up alongside of Adam Rose. Rose finally making a race. He's a go or go homer as well. And then it's Harold Columbia. That car went to victory lane last year. We'll see if it can here again with Harold Columbia behind the wheel. And to the outside will be Jack Nathan. All right, so we're about to get these cars underway. A uh, few top stories. One is uh, that uh, the NSRA is expanding somewhat. You can now follow, get highlights, get rumors, get news exclusively on NNSERA on Twitter. That's right. Thanks to Matthew Rod 10, we've now got a Twitter account where we will be able to let you in on different things that are going on in the NNSERA. Well, it's going to be Jake Berg on the poll. I believe it's the first poll he's gotten this season. And he'll lead him down. Matthew Rodriguez in second. Patrick Murphy. T.O. Bain. Then Devin Wilson. And how about a uh, Diego Brace in his first start qualifying in sixth. We'll watch the Aflac Ford during the course of the day. But the green flag is waving. 17 laps of racing here at Infineon have begun. Jake Berg trying to get out ahead of Matthew Rodriguez. Close the door right there in that turn. Looks like he will do so beautifully. 
Now he's just got to get off that turn nice enough, and he does. He's in front control now of that lead. Matthew Rodriguez back there in second. Patrick Murphy, oh, wow. Murphy slipped off and into the dirt. Loses third to T.O. Bain, fourth to Devin Wilson, fifth to Diego Brace, and he's still losing even more ground. Chambers going underneath him now, and there was another car also making a pass on him. He fell from about third position all the way back now to about... Well, I think he's getting challenged now for the 8th position by Vincent Marsh. James Bald has already gotten by him. Whoa, look at Jake Burke. We're back to Rodriguez. Look at Teal Bain. They're all off the racetrack coming off that turn. Oh, my word. Matthew Rodriguez is going to lose out on that as Devin Wilson's going to get by him. That is for the second position. But, oh, my goodness. All three guys running up in first, second, third all find themselves down and sliding through that dirt. What a save by Jake Berg, though, to be able to keep himself out in front. And the caution is waving. Caution is out with Jake Berg leading. Oh, looks like it might be for Evan Nugent. Oh, and there's Michael Harvey off the pace. Harvey slow. No damage, though. I think he got turned in turn 11. But, oh, oh, there goes Jack Nate and Robert Ban. Ban's got heavy damage to his race car. Oh, man, look at the damage to that Stanley Tools Dodge. Someone else hit him. Oh, Corey Williams right there. Damage to the Goodwrench Chevrolet. Also damage to Jack Nathan's machine. And Evan Nugent, I think, also got some damage there as well. Looks like that's the only cars that were involved. But, oh, man, well, Robert Ban's coming up here and... Oh, I guess he was across the starfish line behind Corey Williams, but Williams, Ban, and uh, Jack Nathan, they've got some pretty bad damage right now. Now, let's see what happens to Evan Nugent. He's way right there. You can see the 47 Clorox Toyota. Does he get turned here? Anthony McCurry's underneath him. No, he slides through this turn, okay. He may have just gotten loose. I don't know. He's got Jacob Lawler to his... Well, he just got by Lawler there. Oh, Lawler tried to put a crossover move on him, just got into the 47. Really nothing that Lawler could do. And Evan Nugent's just going to go for a spin. And sure enough, the rear of his car does get the outside retaining wall just a tad there. So he's got some rear end damage to that uh, GTG Daughtery Toyota, but... Not really much damage to the Evan Nugent machine, but look at this cloud of smoke he's got to go through. That's because of Jake Berg, Matthew Rodriguez, and Devin Wilson all going through the dirt there. Look at that. You can't even find Evan Nugent through that cloud of dust. Here's what happened to Michael Harvey coming down into turn 11. The car behind him is the neon Yoshi car of Sean Galligan. And he may be the one that gets into the back bumper. Apparently, Yoshi and Garfield are two uh, cartoon characters that don't like each other. I don't know. But uh, anyway, it's a, battle. it's a cartoon battle here in turn 11. Garfield against Yoshi. And uh, this time, it looks like Yoshi wins out as, yeah, the 45 just gets turned by the 10. But uh, the good thing for Michael Harvey is, yes, he loses positions, but the big thing is, comes away with no damage to his dodge. So the 45 spins in turn 11. Now let's see what happened to Robert Ban. Okay, now these guys all had to get by. Well, Corey Williams has got damage already. We'll find out what happened to Williams in just a moment. These guys were having to get by that spinning car of Michael Harvey. Kind of got him wadded up here. And let's see if maybe Adam Rose. He's kind of squeezing the Robert Ban machine. Jack Nathan is right behind. Does Nathan get into the 13? Oh, yeah, the 8 kind of bounced off the 13, and then the 13 turns down and into the 60. And, yeah, that's how the damage comes about for those cars, and everybody has to try and, whoa, what, Nick Eggleston has to try and miss this thing. And he pretty much does. That's pretty. That was a pretty good job of driving there by Nick Eggleston to, whoa, up. Felix Harris gets by, Harold Columbia, and Evan Nugent. Now let's find out what happened to the 3 of Corey Williams. I don't think I saw what happened to him. Well, here's what happened to the three. Just wrong place at the wrong time. Apparently, another car spun coming off of that turn. And it was the uh, car right there, Felix Harris. And Corey Williams just nailed the back bumper right into that uh, right rear quarter panel there of that race car. And Dougie Shears, I'm seeing him on pit road. Let's see what happened to the 83 car. Well, here's Dougie Shears, defending champion in the Snickers Cup Series. And let's see what happens to him. 
Can't really see much through this cloud of dust. So hope that hopefully we'll be able to see what happens before. Okay, yeah, they are out of the dust. Oh, it's Jack Nayton got into the back of Dougie Shears. Just turns him around. Now, Dougie Shears goes into a slide. He's trying to hold on, trying to hold on. And this outside retaining wall is our tires. It's not forgiving. And right there, he just hits it really hard. And that ripped up quite a bit of uh, front left front Toyota right there. And I think he's retiring from the race. So we'll get ready to go back under green. Dougie Shears has indeed retired from today's race. Robert Ban is on pit road. We'll get an update on whether he's retired from the race or not. Here's the way they line up for the restart. We'll go back to green on lap 4 of 17. Jake Berg leads. Devin Wilson second. Matthew Rodriguez there in third. T.O. Bain in fourth. And Diego Brace still runs in fifth. James Bald in sixth. His teammate Patrick Murphy back there in seventh. 8th is Vincent Marsh, ninth is Adam Chambers, and Christian James runs in 10th. Alex Lozano in 11th, Shane Green 12th, James McLeod runs 13th, 14th is Ziggy Bain, and 15th is Anthony McCurry. Then you got Daniel Schwab there in 16th, Jacob Lawler in 17th, 18th is John Brace, 19th is Noah Kars, and Arnold Columbia runs in 20th. Let's go further back here, show you where everybody else is running. Noel Steeler will run 21st right now. Timmy Pacioli's back in 22nd. 23rd is Kenny McCurry. 24th is Jonathan Morris. Jared Crocious runs 25th. 26th is Adrian Brace. John Dillon, 27th. 28th, John Worry. 29th right now is Chad Skinner. Sean Galligan back in 30th. 31st is Trent Whitney. 32nd, Angel D'Souza. 33rd is Adam Rose. 34th is Nick Eggleston. 35th is Evan Nugent. Chad Skinner runs in 36th. 37th is Felix Harris. 38th is Michael Harvey, 39th is Corey Williams, 40th is Jack Nathan, Robert Ban, and Dougie Shears have retired from today's event. Well, I'll tell you what, Timmy Pacioli, remember the run he was on? He was just completely killing everybody. Five wins in a row in five NNSCRA starts. Well, his points lead has started to dwindle just a tad, and I believe, according to NNSCRA analysts, Timmy Pacioli's points lead and his uh, position number one in the standings could be swapped here today depending on where Pacioli finishes and where some of the guys up in the top of the standings finish here today. So Pacioli is within striking distance, but we'll have to see if his consistency can continue here at Infineon here today. Here we go, Jake Berg to lead him down, back for the green flag, and we're back underway. Devin Wilson right there in second. Devin, if I remember correctly, didn't do so bad in the Mobile One Cup Series race yesterday. But ended up finding problems early on. Or I believe later on he ended up getting turned or something happened to Devin Wilson. Jake Berg, though, he opened the door. T.O. Bain opened the door a lot there. He just lost a ton of positions. And here's a battle for the lead. Jake Berg got a bit of the rumble strips, and Devin Wilson's going to take advantage of that. The Motorola Ford goes to the front at Infineon. Jake Berg's going to try and battle back, but he's going to have to slide in behind the number 23 from Schwab Racing. They're back there. we got a battle on for the third position. Matthew Rodriguez trying to hold off a very strong Diego Brace in his first start. Diego Brace showing off some muscle here. And I'll tell you what, that 23 car of Daniel Schwab, or make that uh, Devin Wilson, he looks super loose right at the moment. And here comes Jake Berg. He'll charge back to the inside and take over the top spot. Going through those S's, that 23 car did not look good. Looked like he was ready to spin out at any moment. And the caution's out again. Caution is waving. Jake Berg will lead him under the caution flag. Oh, look at that. Look at the pace car. He just shoved Devin Wilson out of the way right there in order to get ahead of Jake Berg. What's up with that? Anyway, uh, Evan Nugent's back on pit road, but he's not the reason we're under caution. Oh, that's Arnold Columbia. He's up against the outside safer barrier. His car was actually literally up on the safer barrier. Kind of like stuck up there. There he is. John Worry's on pit road as well. I don't know if that's a scheduled pit stop or not, but let's see what happened to the Arnold Columbia machine. I know he's the one... I think that we're under the caution flag for, unless it's John Worry. Let's find out what's happened to both Richard Childers cars. Well, John Worry came down doing some pit strategy, making his pit stop early. But here's the reason we're under the caution flag. They got four wide in turn 11, and then they were all wadded up. They were all stuck. Couldn't go anywhere, and it blocked the entire track. So that's why the caution had to come out. Watch this. Lozano, McCurry, Noah Cars, and Daniel Schwab right there. 
they kind of squeezed the one up into the wall, and then everybody's blocked up, so the caution had to come out, so that way everybody could get reorganized. Now let's see what happened to Arnold Columbia, but bizarre things going on here at in Infineon here in this Snickers Cup Series race. Okay, now Columbia was one of those cars that was wadded up back here with Kenny McCurry, Noel Stiller, John Dillon, Jared Krocious, uh Chad Skinner, as well as Jonathan Morris because of the Alex Lozano machine blocking the track with that four wide racing there. Let's see if he, oh yeah, he, uh, he gets turned by Jared Krocious. Just gets turned off the nose. Now watch this. Let's go to a camera angle so you can see what happens here. Watch this impact. Look at that, up and into the air, and he actually comes to rest right on the tire barrier there, the outside safer barrier. I don't think I've ever seen that before, and somebody else up here had some problems. Jared Krocious, oh, and Chad Skinner as well. Chad Skinner's got heavy damage. I think he rear-ended the four of Jared Krocious, so Arnold Columbia not the only one involved in a wreck here that occurs just coming past the start-finish line. And we are under the caution flag. We're going to check and see if any of these guys are going to come down pit road. John Worry has already made his pit stop. Meanwhile, out of the race still are the cars of Dougie Shears and Robert Band. Looks like everybody else is still able to continue. And we are going to have feeding time at the zoo. Jake Berg's going to come down pit road along with Devin Wilson, Diego Brace, Matthew Rodriguez, James Bald, the whole top five, the whole field literally going to come in. Now, you got to wonder if John Worry is going to use pit strategy and not come in this time or not. Here we go. Let's watch and see who indeed is coming down pit road and who is going to stay out. Pace car passes by. There's Jake Berg, Devin Wilson, Diego Brace, Matthew Rodriguez, James Bald, T.O. Bain, Adam Chambers, Vincent Marsh, Patrick Murphy, Shane Green, Christian James, James McLeod, Ziggy Bain, Jacob Lawler, Daniel Schwab, Noah Cars, Anthony McCurry, John Brace, Timmy Pacioli, Adrian Brace, Alex Lozano, Kenny McCurry, Noel Stiller, John Dillon, Jared Krocious, Jonathan Morris, Chad Skinner, Sean Galligan, Angel D'Souza, Felix Harris, Nick Eggleston, Adam Rose, Trent Whitney, Corey Williams, Jack Nathan, Harold Columbia, Michael Hart, and John Worry is indeed still coming down the pit road. Evan Nugent staying out. I don't know if he'll inherit the points lead or not, but let's see who's going to be the first off pit road. Will it be the pole sitter, Jake Berg? Four tires and fuel for him. Four tires and fuel for Matthew Rodriguez. Here comes Diego Brace off pit road. He's going to beat Jake Berg. Berg with an extended stay. Matthew Rodriguez, James Bald, Vincent Marsh, and Jake Berg. Looks like that's going to be the top five coming off of pit road as they are three wide there with Chambers, Lawler, and Rose. Patrick Murphy lost a ton of spots there as well. My goodness. And everybody else completing their pit work coming off of pit road. Alex Lozano had a little bit of an extended stay right there. Goes to one Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. John Worry, I'm surprised he came back down, but maybe he ended up uh, knowing something we don't know. But let's see if uh, who inherits the lead here. Jake Berg with a very extended stay there on pit road. And the leader is uh, going to be... I would think maybe Evan Nugent. I don't know. It may be Evan Nugent. We're going to step aside for a quick commercial break. We'll come back for the green flag in just a moment. You're watching race number eight at Infineon of the Snickers Cup Series. Welcome back to race number eight at Infineon Raceway here of the Snickers Cup Series. Evan Nugent is indeed the leader. He is the leader. He was able to stay on the lead lap. And right now the 47 car is the leader of this race. Diego Brace is lining up there in second. Matthew Rodriguez in third. James Bald fourth. Vincent Marsh fifth. Shane Green in sixth. Jake Burke, who was the leader before we went uh, under caution, he's all the way back there in the eighth position. And then the rest of the top ten, Christian Janes and T.O. Bain. So Evan Nugent out in front. That's a damaged race car, but... Don't think that really much matters here at Infineon. You're going to see that a lot here today. Corey Williams is running without a hood. Chad Skinner doing the same. So, if you see damaged race cars, that's not a problem whatsoever. But Evan Nugent is going to give us back under the restart in lap 7 of 17. Green flag is back out. Nugent, Diego Brace, Matthew Rodriguez, then James Bald. A whole bunch of Fords back there. Shane Green's back there as well in the top 10. Christian Janes is back in the top 10 as well. And Patrick Murphy's trying to get back into the top 10 back there. So I'm making a move. I think that was on T.O. Bain for the 10th position. Evan Nugent, though. Man, that car is fast. Damaged, but fast. That 47 car out and away. He was actually the reason we were under the caution flag for the first time today here. 
And what do you know? The 47 Toyota is leading today's race and pulling away. Got to be pretty impressed with Diego Brace there in second, though, too. A great run for the guy from Rush Moving Racing. Whoa, Evan Nugent off the track. He's going to lose a little bit of ground there. Diego Brace trying to close in along with Matthew Rodriguez. You're going to see a lot of that today. Slick racetrack. Oh, and Evan Nugent looks like he's going to come down pit road for pit service. That'll turn the lead over to rookie Diego Brace. Diego in his first start. For Roush Fenway Racing here today at Infineon. Quite a task they've set before this young rookie. And he's going to try not to disappoint them, it looks like, as he's out in front. Matthew Rodriguez trying to close in and take that position. Vincent Marsh is up to third. Now fourth is James Bald. And Christian Janes is currently up and into the fifth position. Roush Fenway Racing so far. Two cars in the top five. Their other cars not doing quite so well. Jonathan Morris is back mid-pack, and the same can be said for Noah Cars. But Fords definitely are up here. The Richard Petty Motorsports Ford of Matthew Rodriguez runs in second, and also the front row motorsports cars of James Bald and Patrick Murphy have been in and out of the top ten here today. Shane Green also, I forgot to mention, he's currently running back there in the sixth position in that Motocraft 4 for the Red Brothers. Oh, Diego Brace off the racetrack. Also off the racetrack was the Matthew Rodriguez machine. The car that was not off the racetrack looks like Vincent Marsh, and he's starting to close in on Matthew Rodriguez. That would be for second. James Bald also back there trying to take that second position, maybe even just take third from Vincent Marsh. They are nose to tail coming off turn 11, the 43, 7, 38, and now Christian Janes in the 17th going to join this battle. Christian Janes actually was in line to take the Mobile and Cup Series win last night, or actually yesterday, in the 66 car, but he ended up not being able to take it due to the fact that he had to make a pit stop on the final lap, and that really cost him. He didn't finish that badly, but... It was a chance for him to take a win, and he didn't have enough fuel or tires or whatever it was to get there. Whoa! Shane Green, I just saw get way loose off that corner. He's going to get challenged from Jake Berg there. Man, that 21 car got really loose off of that corner, but he's able to get back a hold of it. And here comes Jake Berg down to that inside line, trying to work his way back up to the front of the field. There's another car back there having a good run. That's Jacob Lawler in that 95 car, currently running in the 11th position. Pretty good run for the 95 of Jacob Lawler. That's a single car race team, a go or go homer, making the race here at Infineon. Back up to the front we go as we've got a battle on here now as Vincent Marsh has bypassed Diego Brace for the lead. Matthew, or actually make that Matthew Rodriguez has bypassed Diego Brace for the lead. Vincent Marsh is now up to second. So new leader in Matthew Rodriguez. And I'll bet you, dollars to donuts, Diego Brace missed shot that turn once again. And that time, it cost him two positions. We've got another car just up ahead. That's a slower car of Adam Rose. And that may be problems for Matthew Rodriguez and company. Will they reach that car? And if so, will that play into who's going to win this race? Also, we're on lap 10 of 17. We've run about four laps under green or so. These guys are looking awfully loose off of certain corners. Could the tires be wearing down? Could we have a green flag pit stop run to finish off this race? Never know. Top five right now looks like this. Matthew Rodriguez, then Vincent Marsh is Rodriguez. He's off the track. He gets back on pretty quickly. And doesn't lose much ground. Diego Brace there in third. John, uh, make that James Bald in fourth. And Christian Janes there in the fifth position. Boy, I'll tell you what. Diego Brace wants by Vincent Marsh in. Wants by him bad. He was just literally shoving the seven card down that back straightaway to turn 11. As he is really all over the back bumper of the Vincent Marsh machine. Looks like Timmy Pacioli making a pit stop there. That 95, our points, or 92, our points leader. Green flag pit stop for the Timmy Pacioli machine as he'll come off pit road. A few other cars making pit stops, I believe, as well. I believe Adam Rose made a pit stop back there. See who else might have made some pit stops here under this last lap. Trent Whitney, Felix Harris. John Worry, Anthony McCurry, and Adam Rose. I believe they all made pit stops. 
So we have some guys working out some pitch strategy. It may not work out for the benefit of Adam Rose, though, as he's about to possibly go a lap down. Look at Vincent Marsh get the run there as Matthew Rodriguez hit the dirt. Here comes Vincent Marsh. He tries to get to the inside. He's looking. Oh, man, is he looking. He's trying to find an inside line, an outside line, anything to get around that Best Buy Ford. Here he comes. He charges to the inside. Can he get off of turn 11? Good enough. Boy, I don't know. He is there. He is all over the back bumper, but now he's going to lose a little bit of ground. Let's look back further through here, see if anybody else is making pit stops here on lap 11. And I see no cars on pit road. I don't think. Yeah, it looks like nobody is making pit stops this lap. Back up to the front. Well, Timmy Pacioli is caught a lap down now. The last thing he needs is a caution flag as Vincent Marsh is back under fire once again from Diego Brace for that second position. Timmy Pacioli's got to hope for a caution right now. He has fallen a lap down to the leaders. This is not good for our points leader. Matthew Rodriguez, Vincent Marsh, Diego Brace, they all put their left side tires into the dirt but keep the right side tires on the track which allow them to keep the grip now is a battle on for third between Fords one from Rush Fenway Racing and one from Front Row Motorsports forget that green flag pit stops Matthew Rodriguez Vincent Marsh Diego Brace James Bald Shane Green Jake Berg James McLeod Daniel Schwab Noah Karth Adam Chambers they're all on pit road they're all making Green flag pit stops. There goes Christian Janes on by. He's not pitting this time. Also going by. There's the car. Patrick Murphy. That was the third and fourth. Adrian Brace and John Dillon. They are staying out as well. Cars coming down slowly on pit road. Matthew Rodriguez, one of them. Diego Brace is another. Also J our pole sitter, Jake Burt. Adam Chambers. Coming off pit road now. Here they are. First car off. Looks like it's going to be a battle between Matthew Rodriguez and Vincent Marsh. Bald is off. Shane Green. Jake Berg. James McLeod. Daniel Schwab. Diego Brace. Noah Cars. And they're still coming off pit road here. John Brace. Kenny McCurry. Angel D'Souza. Anthony. Uh, Adam Chambers. Rather, Michael Harvey. Jacob Lawler. Ziggy Bain. Harold Columbia. Jonathan Morris. Sean Galligan. Nick Eggleston. Jared Crocious. Alex Lozano. And Corey Williams. And others. Let's go and take a look now and see where... Uh, our leader would uh, be right now. Let's go back here through the field. I can't find him. I'm trying to remember who our leader was. There he is, Christian Janes. He's on pit road. Janes on pit road. Patrick Murphy on pit road. Adrian Brace, John Dillon. They were the guys who stayed out. And now they are on pit road making their pit stops. You know, I wonder, they've got quite a bit of ground on Vincent Marsh, who would cross the line as the leader, can... It? Let's watch, let's see if the 17 can get his pit work done before the 7 car catches him. Pit work is completed, he'll try and get off pit road as soon as possible, as will Patrick Murphy. Can they beat Vincent Marsh off pit road, get back up to speed? Let's see. Looks like he might. Here he comes off the turn. Vincent Marsh is closing in. And can Christian James get back up to speed here? If so, that would be the most tremendous pit strategy I have ever seen. And he is back up to speed. Christian James came in the leader. He goes out the leader because Vincent Marsh could not get a fast enough lap time to be able to close in and take away that position. He is now second. Third now is Matthew Rodriguez. Fourth is James Bald. And Evan Nugent is up to the fifth position now. Sixth now is James McLeod. Seventh is Shane Green. Daniel Schwab is up to eighth. Ninth is Noah Cars. And Adrian Brace currently runs in the tenth position. Oh my goodness. Absolutely incredible. I can't believe Christian James was able to get his car off pit road before Vincent Marsh bypassed him. This is going to be big. Look at the ground Christian James has on Vincent Marsh right now. 
And all he's got to do is get that 17 car around for two more laps. Now, the last thing that Christian James needs to hear over his radio is, hey, we got a caution, slow down. That's the last thing he needs to hear. He wants this thing to go green flag all the way to the end so he can continue to run just the way he is. Can Vincent Marsh close in on him, though? Vincent looks like he's getting a little bit faster of lap times than the Christian James machine. And he may be able to do something about this before this race is over, but he's got quite a bit of ground to close in on the 17 Crown Royal Ford. Christian Janes, another thing that he's got to worry about is he does not want to make a mistake. If he gets off into that dirt or something, that's about four, five, six car lengths. Vincent Marsh would very easily be able to close up onto the Ford of Christian James. And I gotta mention, Ford is doing a phenomenal job here today. Look at Christian James. Oh, wow, that was close. Almost into the dirt, but he saves it. Make sure it doesn't. And continues on. But we got Christian James. He's running there in first. Third position right now is the Ford of Matthew Rodriguez. And in fourth right now, we find the Ford of James Bald. Christian James still all by himself. When he comes down to hit the stripe this time, it'll be two laps to go. Some more cars on pit road. They were cars that had pitted earlier. John Worry, Trent Whitney, Felix Harris, that group. Anthony McCurry, part of that as well. Adam Rose, they're all on pit road getting pit service. So their pit strategy did not work out at all. But Christian James, can he milk it around for one and three-fourths more laps? Christian James... Not doing particularly well in the standings, and this uh, racetrack apparently in the last race... Oh, caution is waving. Caution is out, but will this race end under caution or not? Caution flag will wave. Let's see who it's for. Let's look back through here, see if maybe we can find out who it was for here. Uh, not seeing anybody with damage as of yet. Evan Nugent on pit road, Trent Whitney, John Worry, that's routine pit work. Christian James though, he's gonna come down, he'll get the white flag and the caution flag displayed to him. The question is, will we end up finishing this race under green or under caution? James crosses the stripe and that may be the lap right there that gives him the win, but let's see why we're under the caution flag real quickly here. Well, here's the reason we're under the caution flag. John Dillon was running in the top 15, and he just gets a tap here from Michael Harvey. And that turns him around. John Dillon's not going to finish in the 12th position. That's a tough break for the 32 car. Jacob Lawler's going to get by on that inside line. I'm wondering, I don't know for certain, but I'm wondering if maybe that was a little bit of payback since he couldn't get to Sean Galligan. He went to his MFN PRA teammate, John Dillon, and turned him the same way that Galligan turned Harvey a little while earlier, but uh, if that's the case, I don't know, but we'll be uh, looking into that, I guess. Well, we are still under the caution flag. There's Vincent Marsh. I think he's given a congratulations to the Christian James machine, because it looks like this race will end under the caution flag. Let's take a look here at uh, what we've got as far as who crossed the start-finish line where for our leaderboard. According to what we've got, uh, Christian James would win Vincent Marsh second. The rest of the top five would be Matthew Rodriguez, James Bald, and James McLeod. Then we'd get Shane Green, Daniel Schwab, Noah Kars, Adrian Brace, and Jake Burke for the top ten. Kenny Crow would finish 11th, John Brace 12th, Angel D'Souza in 13th, Adam Chambers 14th, and Michael Harvey in 15th, 16th, Ziggy Bain, 17th, Jacob Lawler, Harold Columbia in 18th, 19th, to Patrick Murphy in 20th, to Jonathan Morris, 21st would be Sean Galligan, 22nd would be John Dillon, then be Nick Eggleston, Jared Croches, and Corey Williams, the top 25, down through 26th on would be Alex Lozano, Jack Nathan, uh, Adam Rose, Noel Stiller, Anthony McCurry, that'd be through 30th, then one lap down would be Diego Brace, after making a pit stop he would get caught one lap down, tough break for him in his first start, Evan Nugent would get caught two laps down in 32nd, Two laps down in 33rd, Trent Whitney. Two laps down in 34th, Felix Harris. Two laps down in 35th, John Worry. Three laps down would be T.O. Bain. And then Timmy Pacioli, who has retired from this race, he would finish in 37th. Devin Wilson, who is retired as well, 38th. 39th and 40th, the Arnold Columbia and Chad Skinner. And then 41st and 42nd would be Robert Ban 
and Dougie Shears, both of whom have retired from this race. So that's the way it looks like for the unofficial results. We'll get the official results when Christian James crosses the start finish line, which indeed will end this race. So Christian James, once again, for the second week in a row, we've had a driver who has been with the NNSDRA ever since the start, picking up his first career Snickers Cup Series victory. Last week it was Talladega and Adam Chambers. This week is Christian Janes as he crosses the start finish line and Christian Janes has won at Infineon. Great race, great finish. And let's take a look now at the finishing order, the official finishing order for today's race here at Infineon. So here we go. Here's the finishing order for today's race here at Infineon. It's Christian Janes picking up his first win. Highest finishing rookie is going to be none other than James McLeod in that fifth position. Good run for him. Let's take a look at the rest of the finishing order, though. And the big story here, 37th position. That's where points leader Timmy Pacioli will finish today. That means we may have a close-in for the points lead when we head to our next race. Don't know for certain, but... We are going to find out as the point stands are coming up next. I don't even know who's the points leader. If Pacioli has lost the points leader or not, we're going to find out. You and me. You've been watching the production of the NSC Ray Numbers with NCG MRS. Tune in next weekend for our next races.